So let's talk a little bit about uh, an introduction to number systems and we're going to start with converting to the binary system from decimal but I thought that first we'd talk a little bit about decimal. I know you think I'm going to be silly. I know you know how to use our base 10 system, but let's just talk about it anyway. It'll make the binary system so much clearer. All right, so number systems. We have the decimal. It's base 10. It's what it's commonly known as. And it's the system we use every day. Okay, why do we use base 10? Hey, guys. Look at your fingers and your fingers, not your fingers and toes, your fingers. You have 10. That's why we use the decimal system. If we had three on each hand, we might use base six, all right? So binaries, base two, and computers use it, all right? Then we have hexadecimal. That's called base 16. And it's easier for people to people and computers to use. Um, we prefer base 10. Computers prefer base 2, so we use hexadecimal kind of as a translator between the two. And then we have binary coded decimal. It's base 2, but it's a little different. All right. Okay, so the decimal system uses 10 symbols, and you can see here I have a fair number of zeros, and so we begin to count. All right, and we have all the symbols 0 through 9. We have 10 symbols, but remember 0 is the first symbol. All right, so then we count 1, 2, 3. Every time we're incrementing, this least significant, in our case, digit, all right, least significant digit. Least significant is the smallest, okay? Now 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine. All right, now what's happened? We've run out of symbols. So what do we do? We change the nine back to zero. We change the next one to one. All right, so we change it to one. Now we have one zero and we begin to count again. All right, that rule is the same in all number systems. So each place value advances by multiples of 10, okay? So this is ones place, this is the tens place, this is the hundreds place, this is the thousands place. Okay, think about this to another way of saying this is this place is 10 to the zero, this place is 10 to the one, this place is 10 squared, this place is 10 cubed. All right, so I hope that is going to help you in a minute as we continue to talk. Um, now instead of 10 symbols for other systems, we're going to use a different number. Binary has only two. So in our case, we use 10, it's base 10. All right, so I hope that helps and we'll talk to you soon.